Hello, hello, it's me again. Um, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Well, seemingly today, I'm spending most of my time trying to get this to work. And um, I have glued it. Um, I used some um, aldites. I had some rapid setting aldites, so it didn't take too long. I, I, I gave it a couple of hours, and it's pretty hard in there, and it's, it's solid enough. Um, obviously, I don't know how long it'll last, but I've discovered another problem, more serious problem with this. Um, um, so let's just centre it. So you'll see I've got the control panel up on um, up there somewhere and look at the little wheel angle thing on there. See, because that's centred and if we twist it, look how... And look when it goes to both, when we go from one end to the other, and look how it goes, it just goes weird there, look. It just goes off. It's had, it, the, There's a problem with the sensor and it's just completely wrong. Um, look at that, it's just no good. I imagine it should be, you know, it looks like an upside down T and I would have figured it should look like that when it's centered, you know, like that and on the graphic or the other way around, you know, like that. Uh, but you can just see it's just not consistent. Uh, you can just see it's like a, a, a T there. And if we go all the way around, look at the wheel angle when it's registered on that side, you can just see it's a, a kind of strange angle there. Um, and yeah, it's it's just not working it's just not working right um, on there and let me just uh, I'll get the wheel on as well and I'll just show you something else because it just demonstrates how um, bad this is so that's the sensor I'll leave that there for the moment uh, but yeah uh, the way it works is the sensor is a potentiometer and I doubt you're gonna be able to see it here I'll maybe um, let me get a light in I got a light I might have a light here we go so I'm not sure if this will be uh, will help but let me just bring that in and uh put that on oops right ah you can see okay right so right down the middle you can see there the wire there but slightly behind the wire in the dead center that's where the potentiometer lives so you know what potentiometers are they just you know they just um it's just a it's a bit like this i suppose in a way um and yeah so that's the sensor so as it turns it's reading that and then trying to get the wheel angle and then it understands where the position is. But that's just not working, that's off. That's, there's a problem there, it's just not centered. It's just going, like, going to the top and you can see how it resets and just loses its position. So that's broken as well. So regardless of the, um, you know, that being, you know, that cracked, the potential to inside is faulty. Um, the other thing I noticed actually, when I, uh, let's listen to that. There's something rolling around in there. Maybe that's related to what's going on here. I don't know, but I looked inside. It looks like the potentiometer is in place, but I'd only know if I take the housing off and go inside. Uh, but right now, yeah, it's basically unusable. So this is basically a dud, unfortunately. Um, and I'd, I'd, I'd show you something else, actually. Something really strange about it. Um, let me just do this. Get that back in there. Uh, so yeah, this is really unfortunate, really, because I, I had some plans to test this out, and because uh, I thought it'd be a really interesting um, video, you know, to see what something like this is, um, how well it compares to uh, modern uh, force feedback. Kind of interests me, you know, and um, and sadly I'm not going to be able to do it with this wheel. Maybe I'll pick up another one later on, uh, but yeah, this uh, it's a bit of a dud on this one. So if I close this settings. doing it has it been plugged in that's interesting um okay it was doing something really strange earlier let me bring it up again see if i can make it happen again uh one sec actually maybe i'll try this let's unplug it put it back in see what happens okay yeah this is what happens so it's plugged back in um and look at this it just wants to pull to the side it's not centering, it's just, um, which I think is to do with that potentiometer not being able to read the position. And you can just see this, it's a lot of, um, it's actually quite strong this force feedback. On a positive note, it's actually quite a strong motor in here. On a, uh, a negative note, it's not working. Uh, but, but if we take it up to the center and then I put it past the top, it does that. Let me just close that uh, little window there, that desktop window. That's better. Okay, and you can just see that. It just wants to pull to the side. 
until you get to the center and it wants to kind of it's, it's like going over the edge of a, over a hill and just going over the other side but you know I can't keep it I can't keep it centered uh, yeah so I did I did have this all put together earlier and I had the plugs back in so it's got nothing to do with that because I put all this on I, I noticed this before and then I decided to deconstruct it again and take you know have a look inside uh, and then I um, did a bit of research I uh, looked at some videos of people taking these apart and uh, they're talking about um, you know where the potential material is and all that sort of stuff and uh, things that can go kind of go a little bit wrong with it so yeah really annoying you know what can you do so I mean yeah um, because I was a bit unsure first. I was thinking when I glued it, was it something, was there a sensor which I um, covered or something like that? But no, it's got nothing to do with that because the potentiometer is right right at the base, you know, somewhere around, you know, down here somewhere uh, at the end of the shaft. So yeah, and I was gluing, you know, somewhere up this end. Um, so that kind of was successful, but the rest of it is, um, is yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's no good. Nothing I'll do about that. So I have tried different USB ports and all that sort of stuff, and uh, it clearly wasn't that. It's the first thing I've tried. Um, yeah, never mind. Never mind, I have to write this one off. Um, I still want to try a video like this in the future, and on that, I have actually bought a, uh, on eBay, it was a, was a GT uh, driving force one with a little um, sequential shifter on the side. Um, and so I bought that, um, just the actual wheelbase. They didn't come with pedals, uh, but I didn't really need the pedals. But um, So that'll be coming soon-ish, maybe this week, and I'll bring a video out, out on that. Uh, can have a look at that instead. Um, yeah, um, obviously, I'm still really curious about this this particular wheel, these Momos from uh, back, back then. Um, um, so yeah, I'm, if I can find a cheap one, I might have no, another go at that because I'm, you know, I'm interested to find out um, whether or not these uh, these old old studies are any good. You know, I can't, I, you know, can they can they hold up today in sim racing? Um, you know, but yeah, sadly not to be with this particular one. Uh, so yeah, uh, I I don't know. Maybe there'll be a there'll be a way to fix it one day or maybe you want to take it apart and look at it but that's not really what I want to do on this channel in fixing things like this um, but you never know you never know anyway anyway well thanks for watching and sorry I cannot do any more on this because you know this is what it is uh, but yeah I'll be back with Automobilista 2 stuff I guess um, probably later today um, and I'll have another interesting one actually which I will uh, put out for Automobilista 2 um, it's about uh, getting um, the telemetry, the shared memory working for, uh, so you can get motion and uh, tactile and all that sort of stuff working. There should be an easy workaround. So I'm actually, I'll look at that later today and I'll probably bring that video out tomorrow if I get around to sorting it all out. Uh, but yeah, look out for that. And, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, drop your comments of, uh, of uh, commiserations. Uh, <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, so take care and happy simming as always. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.